Hey everybody, welcome to the Widgets and Wonders. Uh, today we're taking a look at some new gaming mats from Urban Mats. Um, a Martian mat, a kind of cool wastelandy dirt mat. Um, it's kind of like the Badlands mat they make, but minus the grass and stuff. Um, and a Martian techno mat, which is a very cool sort of like deck plating, fans, um, resty red um, sort of a Martian terrain, which I'm pretty stoked for. Uh, so let's take a look at it right now. So first things first, here is Mars in 6x4. Um, a cool, just like featureless, pretty much, Martian terrain mat. Um, done up in a really washed out sepia. I really like it. It's it's not too red. I often think of the Mars mats that I see as being um, really red, but this one's uh, almost like a rose color where it's red. And then desaturates all the way to a nice um, sepia everywhere else. You can see, of course, you can't have a Mars mat without a night on it. So here's one of my nights just for scale and how big the craters are. And it looks like it's actually been done maybe even from real photos of like the Martian surface or like the lunar surface, maybe just like tweaked into a sepia tone. I really like it. It's got some nice scatter and stuff here as well. Um, it's going to be great for, again, like probably 40k games, but you could play any kind of sci-fi game on sort of like a lunar or Martian surface this way. Here's some intercessors for scale yet again, uh, and of course this is 6x4. The detail is really fine, no pixelized um, printing for the most part. It looks really, really good even up close. Uh, I'll probably also use it for some games of Battletech because obviously playing on lunar surfaces and other types of like planetoids is going to be a neat thing to do, so there's some of my... Um, Freshly painted uh, over Christmas break battle mechs from the Torian Guard, uh, ready to, to party down here on the surface of Mars. So there it is, there's the first mat, which is uh, just sort of like the featureless Martian terrain. And here's our second mat, the Tech Mars mat. And you can see here, it's got some similar patterning from the craters and stuff, but then also has a, a habitable sort of like um, bunch of details. We got some road marks here where you can see some driving uh, and then all of this deck plating. So you can see there's some sort of like prefab installations that have been put on the surface. And I like that the Martian sand is actually kind of overriding it a bit in places. Like it's creeping on, um, showing it like kind of being windswept and stuff and it creeps into the middle. Uh, and it's a nice, again, desaturated gray. It's not too bold. It doesn't clash with sort of like the sepia tones of the sand too badly. Uh, and again, looks really good on my deck plating bases. I think the Sector Mechanicus um, stuff from uh, GW would probably look really good on this. I have a bunch of it painted up, which I'll probably try out when we do some Martian games. But again, um, it's not too scale specific, except for like the, like again, the, the, the wheel marks. They're not, they could be anything. They could be tank treads, they could be whatever. Um, if you put a space marine next to them, they're, they're pretty small. Uh, so they're, they're not necessarily 28 mil scale. You can still use some battle mechs and stuff on here and there's nothing there's no like rivets or really small details that make this kind of like scale locked i think you could get away with this for titanicus um definitely i'll probably play some titanicus on here uh just as well as you could get rid of it or play some 40k on it too uh yeah and I'm, I'm excited about this i like the color palette it didn't clash too much it wasn't like a lot of strong vibrant colors kind of like hitting together um and i like that it's kind of blended in the surface it's not just like stamped on which is really cool. So there it is, there's the Martian Tech mat. Now third, but definitely not least, is probably my favorite mat out of these three, and this is the Dirt mat. Um, I should say, it doesn't. it's not completely devoid of like growing things. You can see here, there's bits of moss on the rock, um, little tiny tufts of grass and stuff like that. I'm in love with this mat because this is where I spent my teen years. Um, when I was a teenager, I worked in mining camps, because uh, my dad's a mining engineer, and this is about the closest you could come to a Canadian Tundra <laughs> gaming mat. All it needs is hundreds of little lakes all about like six or eight hundred yards apart um, from, the, from the melt and the runoff and you would be you would be ready to rock and roll. This looks a lot like Tundra. Um, it's got no snow but this is kind of summertime in Iceland, Greenland, northern Canada, Baffin Island kind of Tundra and I love it. If you were going to get one gaming mat that could kind of go in any game there's nothing era specific on here. You could just as easily play a sci-fi game as a medieval game. Uh, all your terrain's gonna look good on this because it's just it's just waste like kind of like rocks, but it's not so brown that it's wastelandy or scorched. It's not so green that it's like too verdant. You could put pretty much any terrain on here. I'm gonna get a heck of a lot of use out of this mat and have it look great. The detail's really nice. Like the rocks look really good. Uh, I'm not just in love with it because it looks like the Canadian Shield, but I mean that's a that's a big bonus for me. 
Uh, and I think pretty much any, any miniatures are going to look good on this too. My, uh, my Age of Sigmar miniatures will look just as good as my 40k miniatures. Um, and I'll be able to get like a ton of use out of everything from my generic AOS train. Right, is going to look good on here. Um, as well as my sci-fi train. The scale isn't even so crazy that things like 6 mil ruins and battle max will look weird on it. Right, like we can we can throw pretty much anything on here, and I think it's gonna look really really good. So I am pumped for this mat um, of of my big gaming mat collection. I can see this one going into some super heavy rotation. And there for some detail scale, you can have some ogors to fight Gotric, uh, and over here you can definitely have some battle mechs to go stalk the ruins. And I think this this train's gonna look great pretty much no matter what. Um, I can throw I think pretty much anything on here and it's it's gonna it's gonna fit right in. It's a good generic mat. Um, if you were looking for that kind of one match rule them all, if you're gonna have one mat in your house, I would always go with a neutral mat like this uh, that's not like specific because you could just as easily throw Infinity Train on here and play Infinity as um, play AOS or BattleTech or 40k or whatever. So there you go, three great new gaming mats from Urban Mats. Now, if you know a product that you think deserves more attention, uh, you can have them email me at gorillaminiaturegames at gmail.com or Facebook message me at facebook.com slash out of the basement and into the streets, and I'll put it in front of as many people as possible. Um, if you want to check out anything about what you saw today, you can check out the video description below. And until next time, I'm Ash. Have a game. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below so you get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Ray Designs, um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible, uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else, and most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.